Hello everyone, this is my round two audition for the painting drama course. So I'm gonna answer six questions. So here we go. Uh, question number one, my relationship to failure. Um, I'm embracing failure because it shows me that I'm growing. People who stay in their comfort zone way too much, uh, they don't fail as often, so I see failure as um, kind of a signpost to leaving my comfort zone and growing. Uh, number two, what are your big dreams and prove it? Actually, a few weeks ago, I probably would have answered with some names. The usual suspects like working for Disney and Pixar, DreamWorks, but I just recently noticed that thinking about those names interferes with my working. I don't enjoy it as much anymore because I keep thinking weird things like, um, oh, this character, um, would this be something Disney or Pixar would be interested in? And if the answer is no, then I feel bad about my work, although I enjoyed doing it and enjoyed the process. Um, and that's what it's about. It's about the process and the actual doing it. Um, so my desire is to work in a creative group um, and tell stories um, and enjoy the process while doing it. Um, and that is not something that is attached to a name. Um, to prove my love for storytelling, um, I just recently fell in love with comics and doing comics and I'm actually trying to teach myself how to do comics. Um, I picked up some books like um, Scott McCloud, Will Eisner, and um, even Brunetti. And to prove to you that I am hardworking on my abilities to draw, um, I have tons of sketchbooks from the last couple of weeks. So, yeah. Um, question number three, my strongest strengths. Well, I am a really optimistic, hardworking girl. Um, I can talk myself out of almost every motivational dip, um, which makes me unbeatable. <laughs> and I also cherish and love to notice the little things in life, um, how somebody walks, um, if somebody has a funny nose, or um, if light dances around, stuff like that. Um, I really do notice these things. And trying to incorporate that into my work. Um, my biggest struggle though is um, some kind of digital HDHD. So um, if I'm working, I also look at a ton of blogs and I'm um, listening to podcasts and uh, searching for new books on Amazon, um, which leads to me trying to incorporate something out of every block I look at and my work is just an, a hodgepodge piece of artwork where there's not much of me in there. Um, yeah, that's something I really need to work on to keep true to myself and not letting other people's beautiful artwork influence how I feel about my work. Um, number five. What do I have to offer fellow PB1 students? Mm, well, of course, I can offer me <laughs> and my, my perspective and uh, my criticism, my time, my love. <laughs> um, and since I'm a graphic design student, um, I can also offer some insights to typography, layout, um, that sort of thing. Can work with Illustrator and After Effects if somebody has some questions about that. So, last question: um, 
how do you respond to direct tough love criticism? Well, it does sometimes sting, um, that's for sure. But um, I also know that this means this person took the time to come up with a thorough critique of my work and that he cares enough about my work to give me some criticism. <clears throat> so I'm thankful for direct tough love criticism. So yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks again for inviting me for round two and hope to talk to you, to you later. Bye.